So starting almost 10 years ago, we were at ground zero with our knowledge of this population of the white shark. It was actually one of the poorest known populations in all the world. And now we have elevated our knowledge of this population from one of the least understood to one of the best. In the Western North Atlantic White Shark Project, it has grown to the point where we now have 25 different projects. We do a very specific set of uh, biological samples on these animals. We collect blood samples that go to multiple projects, muscle samples that go to multiple projects. We do an ultrasound that can inform many different aspects of the animal. We collect semen samples, which can tell us many different aspects of the animal. Um, and ultimately, all of those samples help inform other projects. The how do all these projects work together is really important as far as really increasing our rate of learning about these animals. And it's not just trying to answer your question, but seeing how your question fits in with other projects. So for example, when we have um, toxicology studies, we can really look at whether the toxins they're detecting are impacting the animal's health. With the nutrition study, there are certain micronutrients um, that can impact how toxins affect an animal. And we can look at the toxins that they're seeing and whether those nutrients are high or low, in which case they might be being depleted. It's all of those bigger questions of how these projects relate together and answer each other's additional questions that makes this such a strong project and such a strong collaboration. One of my roles here with OSEARCH is looking at movements and migration of these animals, um, using multiple forms of telemetry to better understand you know, where they go, when they go there, and, and the ultimately why they go there. And, and to truly understand the why, you need to know other aspects about their biology. And being able to understand a bit about their diet, the health of the animals, the reproductive status of the animals, which are all of these other projects, allow us to really expand the scope of the work that we do, not only with the movements and migration, but also better understanding the population as a whole so it not only allows us to be much more efficient, but it also reveals insights that we wouldn't be able to really understand if we were only single focused on one particular thing. So this collaboration has brought together a lot of different researchers and a lot of different institutions. Um, and they may have very different perspectives on the different questions and different tools to answer those questions. So it's been a great way to introduce different methodologies into different projects and really expand what each project can do by having other institutions that you can work with. We took this different approach, this OSEARCH science model of super collaboration to maximize and accelerate the process of, of understanding. We're trying to get the ocean back to its natural abundance and balance in as quick a time as possible.